I hope you enjoyed listening to the Greedy Triangle. Now we are going to talk about some key vocabulary that you will need to know this week with um, learning about shape. Um, so I drew the triangle here, you can see, and you see some words on there like vertex, which is here, angle, and then um, size. So the key things for the uh, vertex is when two lines come together to form a point, that is the vertex. So if we look at this shape, how many vertices, when it's plural, we say vertices, how many vertices does this angle have? So you would count one, two, three. So this angle, the triangle, has three vertices. The next, I keep saying the word angle. Okay, so an angle is when any two sides meet, they form an angle. And that's this part in the middle where you see that little line going, curved line. That is an angle. So when any two lines meet, they form an angle. So let's count and see how many angles a triangle would have. So we have one, two, we put it there, and then three. So a triangle has three angles. Okay. Now the next um, word we had on here was a side. Okay. A side, every shape has sides. A side is also called a line segment. Okay. So if we look, a triangle has how many sides? One, two, three. Okay. So it has three sides three angles and three vertices for a triangle. Okay. So those are important words that you need to know. Okay, we're going to look at another shape. I'm going to draw it really quick. Now we have this shape here. So many of you know that this would be a rectangle, okay? And on the rectangle, um, in our book, we heard the word quadrilateral. Quadrilateral means any shape with four sides. So a square, a rectangle, okay? Those are shapes that have four sides, also known as a quadrilateral. Now we want to look at this shape, okay? If we look at it, how many angles does it have? Okay, so we have one, two, three, four. It has four angles. Now, going and talking about angles, this shape has a specific kind of angle. It is called a right angle. So a square and a re uh, rectangle would have they have what's called a right angle. That means when two straight lines come to a point. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what we would do with a right angle. Okay, so inside of there, we draw, it looks like another little square. That shows that it is a right angle when two straight lines come together. So, with a square and a rectangle, all of your lines are straight, okay? So here, we have a right angle. It actually has four right angles. So right here, two straight lines would come together, okay? So it has four right angles. So that's important to know a right angle. The next um, thing, we will look at it. How many vertices does it have? Now remember, a vertice is when two lines come together at the point, and we would count one, two, three, four. So it has four vertices. We already said it had four right angles. So can we guess how many sides it has? Right, four. We have four of them as well. One, two, three, four. Four sides. Now another thing that you will notice with a rectangle that we have here is it has something called parallel sides. Okay? Parallel sides means that the lines will go on 
forever and never touch or never cross or never meet. So if you look at this, if we drew these lines, the top and the bottom one, if we drew them on forever and ever and ever and ever, they would never cross. That means it is a parallel line. Now, a rectangle actually has two sets of parallel lines. So it has this set, the top and the bottom, and it also has the sides. Okay? Both of those are parallel lines. So if we drew these on forever, top and bottom, on both sides, they would never connect or touch. They would go on forever. So that means they are parallel. Okay? That's important to know, too. Okay? The next thing we're going to do, remember any four-sided shape is called a quadrilateral. Even though they do have specific names like a square or rectangle, they are also called a quadrilateral. Now the next thing that we're going to look at Okay, in the book, we heard the word pentagon. A pentagon is a five-sided five shape. I was getting ahead of myself there. Okay, so here, a lot of us say, oh, a house. It looks like a house. Yes. However, it is a pentagon. Okay? And pentagon is five sides. So if we count, one, two, three, four, five. Okay? It has five sides. So any shape that you would draw that has five sides is called a pentagon. Okay? The next one I want to look at real quick. Is a six-sided shape. Now Mrs. Porter is not always the best drawer, so bear with me. Not the prettiest, but we'll do it. Okay? Um, this is called a hexagon. When we have six sides, it is called a hexagon. Okay? So if you drew anything that had six sides, it doesn't have to look like this. Okay? It's six sides, you would count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. It is called a hexagon. No matter what it looks like, if it has six sides, it's a hexagon. So I'll draw one that might be silly, and it's still called a hexagon. And you can practice doing this too. Um, now remember, these, there cannot be overlaps or gaps in, when you're drawing um, a sided shape. Okay, so we got to remember that too. They all have to be connected. So here I have another shape, and it is a six-sided shape, which is called a hexagon. Okay? So if we look at it, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Does it look anything like that? Nope. But it's still called a hexagon because it still has six sides on it. Okay? So those are some of the key words that we wanted to recognize. Um, so a side, which is when you have um, a line segment, okay, line segments, those are sides. Um, angles are when two lines form together, they create an angle in between, okay. Um, and then the other one we talked about was a vertex, which is when two lines come together to form a point. When we have more than one, it's called a vertice, okay. So when we have vertices, those are the points that you have. So one, two, three, four, five, six. It has six vertices. Okay. 
We talked about a right angle, and that's when two straight lines come together. They form a right angle. Another key term we talked about was parallel lines. Now, if we look at our hexagon here, it actually has one set of parallel lines. Do you see them? Okay, yeah, right here. Parallel lines. Top and bottom one. If we would have them go on forever, they will never connect. That makes them parallel lines. So it actually has one set of parallel lines. Now the other one, if we would connect them, obviously here, these two are going to connect up here somewhere. Right? Here, these two, they would connect somewhere down here if we kept drawing them. Okay? So that's why they would not be parallel lines. Okay? So I hope that today's mini lesson of some keywords with shape um, you'll remember. Okay? Last thing, all four-sided shapes are called quadrilaterals because they have four sides, four angles, four vertices. Pentagon, they're all called, or all five-sided shapes are called pentagons because they have five sides, five angles, five vertices. Same with this, hexagon. Okay, and we can keep going on with our shapes because they're going to have six sides, six vertices, and six angles. Okay, so I hope this makes some sense to you. If you have more questions or anything about the shape, please let me know. All right, we'll talk soon.